Hey, Jimmer, have you ever had a sore, a sore in your nose? I got one right now. It hurts so bad. I know it'll be gone tomorrow, but like all day today, this thing's going to be so tender. Oh, like as soon as I touch it, like my eyes start watering. It's crazy. Testing. Test. Test. We're good. Huh. Call it snowball ice microphone. Where did you get these? This is what we're using? Isn't this like for lanterns or whatever? Or like camping? Let's do this. I appreciate all the support. That's that's really my whole intent, Jimmer, was that, like, I haven't seen some of my friends in a long time, but, uh, you know, and this is kind of like a, a, a reach out to everybody because we all have our, I mean, I've got three kids, and, like, today is Saturday, and luckily I wake up early before they wake up, but once they wake up, I mean, it's, like, on until late at night. I mean, we got football, we got baseball today. Sophie G's got cheerleading, and Walker, or Millerman, the little one, two years old, he, I'm not for sure what he does. He just, he just wants to play. If he finds the sand, he's good. So we're good. We've got a busy day today. But today, sometime Saturday, that's what we're going to call it, because we're going to start doing some quick episodes of hacking, sports, and music, sometimes on Saturday. That's what, that's what we're going to call it. And we might even go even a step further and get, do some bonus and do some uh, do it on Sunday. And we're going to call that sometime Sunday. So we'll do that sometimes on Sunday too. So, But we're going to stick to our schedule Monday through Friday. I'll start loading. I've got 100. Oh, I've done one. So I've got 99 more. This will be 99. Uh, and then I've got 98 more coming up next week. So I'm trying to hit them up. My goal is 100. But it was awesome. I got, I got a lot of feedback uh, in regards to social media. That's, that's the whole intent. And I've got, my worry was if I was going to get enough content. I know, Jimmer, you've thrown some stuff at me and stuff. But, uh, um, but a lot of my friends and stuff, I got texts last night. And it was awesome. We got people on Facebook and, and some on Twitter and Instagram on our site. So check the links below if you guys see it. Um, but I got so much content, and we're going to use some today. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Let's do this. So it's going to be quick. And the other thing is, is um, like the last one, we're trying to make this thing quick. And trust me, with 100, by 100, we should be able to perfect it. Now the catch is... I know if I do 25 um, videos, that's the hump. So if I can still continue to do 25, then the rest of the 75 are, are good to go. So I got to get to 25. So I'm going to try to front end load it because I know I can build a habit through that. So anyway, let's do this. Let's get started. So this was brought to my by my friend Zach. Zach texted me last night and said, "Hey, you got to check this out. This is great for like hurricane or like." Um, or just in an emergency, in a, in a crunch. I'll put the link down below, but this is pretty sweet. Um, I watched it. Now, again, I have to be careful on some of the copyright stuff, so I have to, I can't really play the video, it's weird. I, I tried to do it on YouTube, like yesterday, you know, the last episode, um, for that five minute craft, got a strike. Luckily, I, I disputed it, and I think, I think I'm okay, but, um, so I gotta watch what I do on those type of stuff. But anyway, so this one right here. So all you need is a what is that? A nine volt? Yeah, nine volt battery. Obviously your phone, and then a, a pencil, the spring, just a spring from the pencil, and then um, the like a charger, like the ones you can get. I think Jimmer, you can get them like three bucks, two bucks uh, at. Um, you know the store but the cool thing about it you're not going to open it up and, and break it so um here let's check it out because here here's what it's going to look like on here so you put the spring 
uh, right there, and boom. Look at that. So the spring goes into the edge of the foam. Let's go back to that part. So there it is right there. So right there, that spring goes into that. There's this little piece that sticks out. So you put it in there like that. And isn't that crazy? And I'm assuming, again, I put the link down there before, and I, I, it didn't really into the large portion of the battery. Okay. All right. So... You have to put the spring onto the large portion of the battery, the thick one, and then the other one you just put in there like that. But I thought that was awesome. Zach, thank you. Again, guys, uh, comment down below and uh, give me some content, and we'll do this. So this, dude, this, was, this was awesome. This was pretty cool. So check it out. Again, the Weather Channel link is down below. We're gonna, so that's our hack for the day. Sweet. Knocking them out. Um... College football today, Saturday. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Gonna be on my phone today. Hey, Jimmer. Uh, Dana is uh, actually, guys. Dana is my wife, by the way. If you hear Dana, I've got uh, Miller, who's two, about to be three. Walker, who's five, and then Sophie, who's seven. She kind of rules the roost. Little Sophie does. But anyway, so uh, Dana is actually gonna let me golf today. And I'm going to be out of town on Sunday and Monday, I think, um, for a short period. But, yeah, getting to golf today. And, guys, if you're in the area in Frisco, the Tribute has this thing. It's for 30 bucks. Actually, it's $40. Um, but you, it's, it's, a, it's a monthly thing. It's kind of like a Netflix thing, but then you only pay for like 15 bucks to go play. It's a $7 course. So it's, it's like worth it. So there's four of us that kind of group together, hold, hold everybody accountable. And if you go twice or three times, it's worth it. You get two drinks and a, and a dog. And if you go in there in the morning, then you, um, then you get breakfast. It's not a bad deal. I'm not even promoting tribute. I just think it's a great deal. I, I, I really do. I think it's just a, a great deal. And, and the key, the, the, the key is, is, um, you gotta have, you know, you gotta have that circle, that group to hold you accountable. So you'll go like twice, and just find a time. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty pumped today. Pretty pumped. Anyway, let's go. Let's get back to football. Hey, the game of the week today is gonna be Oklahoma Ohio State. Obviously, right? This is gonna be a heck of a game. Jimmer, who you got? Oklahoma. Man, I know this is this is tough for me. Um, so you got Mayfield, you got uh, Dobbins from OSU, then you got Campbell, the receiver. So, um, man, so it's like, what do you do, you know? Um, and there is still something, you know, um, about Oklahoma that I like. There, there is like this, uh, there's this push. I don't know if it, they're because they were in the Big 12 and we know about them, we hear them on the news all the time or whatever it may be. But man, there's something about that. And so usually in the big games, they step up. Usually they they step up in the, in the game or they get blown out completely. You know what I mean? Because think about it, um, if I remember. Because I remember, like usually in the championship games, they're either, it's either they blow somebody out or they get blown out. And I may be totally wrong on that, but I, 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 I think, uh, I think, I think I'm gonna have to agree with you on this, Jimmer. I'm gonna have to agree with you on this, um, and and go with with Oklahoma. I, uh, I, you know, um, let's see what let's see what the let's see what the summary has here, and see what everybody else is saying. So. So that this is my this is my game of the way. I'm gonna go with Oklahoma. I I, I just have a feeling. I think uh, that's that's what we're gonna do. You know I, that's what I hate about ESPN. Uh, ESPN is uh, is uh, is is their commercials kills me. You know you know one thing, Jimmer is um, is that this is game two of the season. And I'm a real big component. If you start off well, um, you know that that really kind of predicates, you know, sometimes of your season. You you have to play well at the beginning, 
sustain in the middle, and then you've got to play at your very best at the very end. Um, Because it's like anything else. Once you get to playoffs, it's a 0-0 game. And if you're playing well, then usually you succeed. That's why March Madness is so awesome because the teams that are playing well at the end of the year are the ones that are winning, that go that go really far. So it's pretty awesome, right? So anyway, I'm going to go with Oklahoma over Ohio State. Some of you are going to be mad. Some of you won't. Some of you will agree. But I'm going to say Oklahoma Sooners are going to, um, you know, uh, um, beat the Buckeyes. Uh, you know, I love I love both teams. I really do. Um, so anyway, it's going to be on ABC at 6.30. They're playing in Columbus. That's the other thing, Jim Rue, we have to think about. They're playing at home, Ohio State. The horseshoe. It's going to be tough. It is going to be tough. I, I, you know what? I, I love Urban Meyer. I really do. I liked him when he was at Florida. Um, and, you know, whatever happened there, I, I, you know, I don't know. Uh, I know he got sick or whatever, but, man, um, it's going to be tough. But I think, you know, Oklahoma is going to prevail in this. And so I think their defense is secretly good or better. Um, and Baker, if if he if he doesn't have more than three, uh, this is really a bold statement here, Jimmer. If he doesn't have more than let's say two, if he doesn't have more, if he has two or more, Oklahoma will lose. And if he has two or less, they've got a chance. They've got a chance. Anyway, all right, let's move on. We are going to move on. So this next section is going to be. On these sometimes episodes, sometimes Saturday, sometimes Sunday, we're going to try to make it real quick. Um, But the third part is going to be the top billboard. So let's take a look at the billboard and see what songs, the top five. Uh, Let's, uh, I already gave it away, so let me go ahead. And there's so many ads on these sites. Oh my gosh. I know we had a bunch of ads on TeacherTube, and I understand how they make money and stuff, but this is ridiculous. We didn't have any, like, I literally cannot move anything. There it goes. It's like that. So, anyway. So, you got number 10, Liam Payne featuring Quavo. Yeah, okay. And then you got uh, this 1-800 number. I'm not sure what these are, to be honest with you. I know Sean Mendez. Sophie loves Sean Mendez. Um, you got Unforgettable. You got Believer at Imagine Dragons, one of my favorite. Um, I like the Believer song. I like their other song too. Um, God, what is it called? Thunder. If you if you haven't heard of Thunder by Imagine Dragons, it's it's pretty awesome. It's pretty you get pumped up. Uh, Charlie Puth Attention. You got Wild Thoughts uh, by DJ Khalid. I swear, I you know you can tell which one that he's produced. Because he just yells, DJ Khalid! That's what I'm going to do, Jimmer. You know my music background. That's what I'm going to That's my next move. Is I'm going to just, you know, here's a, here's a track, here's some lyrics, throw it in there, and then I want to put TK! What do you think? I couldn't throw a DJ TK in there. I'd maybe throw a seedless, like a seedless grapes or something in there. But other than that, would be good to go. Um... Bodak Yellow, okay. Despacito, kind of like that song. Kind of like that song. I like the bum bum p- part. I don't know why, um, but it's like it's like a. It's good to see a song like that. It's kind of like La Bamba. You know what I mean? The whole thing is pretty much in Spanish, and then um, you know, then you realize, oh, the whole song's in Spanish. Um, but anyway. Did you ever take Spanish in school? Did you? The only thing I learned was uh, Mi abuela es ochenta y dos. Yep. That means uh, my grandmother is 82 years old. That's the only thing I learned. So, sorry, Miss Spanish teacher. But I did learn that. That helps. And, and pointing helps, too, as well. Um, anyway. Um, so... Number one is look what you made me do. I watched this video yesterday, even with uh, with even with Sophie, because she she loves Taylor Swift. I mean, 
anything. She doesn't like her old stuff now, which is funny, Jimmer. Is that she like the bad blood and all that? She doesn't like that. She that's it's like old to her, uh, but it's the same person. So anyway, so this look what you made me do um, was <laughs> the video is so weird. I didn't understand it. You know, she's saying look what you made me do, and I under, I get it because it's like different parts of Taylor throughout, and I guess she's trying to change into this pop thing. I still haven't figured it out yet. Um, I think she's very talented and all that good stuff. Um, but the video kind of confused me a little bit, Jimmer. Um, but song, I don't know if this deserves to be number one. It deserves to be number one because it's Taylor. But I don't know if it deserves to be number one. But eh, what else is out there, right? Other than Despacito or Bodak Yellow on the billboard. Bodak Yellow, Money Moose. I uh, want to give that a shot here in a minute, but uh, but Bodak Yellow. Do you think they like literally sat down and said, or the guy comes in and sits down and says, "Guys, I got a song," and they're like, "Well, okay, what are you gonna call it?" Bodak Yellow. And he like he he automatically has mics in his pocket and then he drops them. Then he walks off. That's what I would do if I had a name like that. And I'm in the top five of Billboard. I would literally come in like after I see that and after they produced it and stuff and walk in a meeting of the same people, maybe, you know, a couple, like a month later and just, just Bodak Yellow and then drop the mic and then take off again. Man, how awesome would that be? That, that was one of my dreams is, is to have like a, just a one hit wonder. That's it. Just a one hit wonder. That's all I needed. Just a one hit wonder, TK and the Seedless Grapes, and that's it. That's all I was looking for. Sign me up. Sign me up. Anyway. Anyway, guys, that is the show today. I, I greatly appreciate it. Hackingsportsmusic.com. Again, this is going to be 98 we got 97 more to go, so hang in there with me. Again, I appreciate seeing everybody again. Comment, let me know what you want to see, and we're going to talk about it, and we're going to keep this thing rolling and make this thing happen. So, again, have a great Saturday, and, and see you guys on Monday, um, maybe tomorrow. Um, I'm going to have a special guest. I'm going to try to get him on. It's Darren K. Roberts. I'm going to put his book down below as well. Um, and we're, uh, I'm meeting up with him. So he's awesome. Great. He, he, uh, Harvard to the NFL, which is pretty cool. I'll put his link down below and then, uh, I'm going to try to get him on, uh, the show on Monday from Austin, Texas. So anyway, guys, appreciate it. Thank you. Hackingsportsmusic.com. We out. <laughs>